Hello Brawlers and welcome to the very first Olympics video after Power 11 is out. We're gonna find out which Brawler has the best attack in the game. Each Brawler gets to fire three attacks to see how much damage they can do and I'm also gonna tell you which Brawlers they can three shot from full HP. Now in the past I let Brawlers use whatever abilities to like boost their damage and stuff like that. In this video they can't use their supers, they can't use their gadgets, they can't even use gears but they can use star powers since those are actually like passive abilities that can permanently buff damage in some cases. We'll start with the worst Brawler and work our way up to the best and that means that we are starting off with Amber. Now Amber's a little bit weird and some people might actually consider her to have just one ammo but in reality she actually has one long ammo bar that is filled with 40 ammo. I couldn't figure out a way to make this test fair for brawlers like her that have 40 ammo and also brawlers like B who only has one and that means that Amber kind of suffers and she only deals 900 damage against 54th place. Obviously she can deal 3000 damage per second which is insane. She can melt through like the tankiest of tanks but for now she gets last. Now mech can obviously deal way more damage in her mecha but that's technically her super. So she actually only deals 2,700 damage with three attacks and gets 53rd place. That's not even enough to take out the lowest HP brawler in the game. And speaking of brawlers that can't even take out Tick, Poco can't take out any brawler with three attacks either. He deals 3,150 damage at level 11, which puts him in 52nd place out of the 54 brawlers in the game. Nita deals 3,960 damage with three attacks and is the first brawler to be able to three shot any brawler. And with full ammo, she can take out Tick, Meg, Piper, Brock, Spike, Bar, Crow, B, Byron, Nani, and Bell. Now, Mortis deals a little bit more damage than Nita, but his reload speed is way slower. He deals 4,050 damage and can't take out any more brawlers with three attacks and ends up in 50th place. Those were the five worst brawlers when it comes to how many brawlers they can actually kill with three ammo. And we're just getting started. But first, I wanted to give a big thank you to AFK Arena for sponsoring this video and who recently launched their newest version, The Flame Reborn. Click on the link below to download now. This version of AFK Arena is about the evolution story of Phoenix, and the bond between Phoenix, Taylene, and Astar actually enables it to evolve into a brand new strong hero. She's the first hero with both tank and support skills, and is arguably the strongest hero in AFK Arena ever. AFK Arena is a mobile RPG that is actually more convenient to play than pretty much any other game, because you can always be playing whether you have time or not. Even when you're unable to play, your team will fight for you offline, so you're always getting stronger. And one thing I love is that there's actually a lot of strategy involved with making the best team ever. You can use different combinations of heroes and actually link their bonds to each other so that they have more and more combos so you can defeat stronger and stronger bosses. And if you get far enough to where the bosses are a little too easy, you can challenge your friends and other players to see who has the best team. Download AFK Arena using the link below and if you use my code, you'll instantly receive 80 scrolls as well as tons of other items including diamond and gold. And once again, I want to give a big thank you to AFK Arena for sponsoring this video and thank you for watching. Now, Sandy's attack is actually very strong for how much area it covers and its ability to hit multiple targets. He's able to deal 4,140 damage, which puts him in 49th place. Penny can deal 4,230 damage, which is enough to also take out Colt, Rico, Dynamite, Surge, Stu, Edgar, and Colonel Ruffs, along with the other brawlers that I've already mentioned, and it's also enough for her to get 46th place. Next, we have Sprout, whose attacks deal all of its damage no matter where it hits, unlike, you know, brawlers like Barley or Dynamite or Tick, right? And that's why Sprout is an excellent thrower for three-shot and weak brawlers. It deals 4,410 damage and gets 47th place, but it can't take out any additional brawlers. Now, Colette is weird because she can technically deal over 4,000 damage to a Frank with just one attack, but we're gonna rank her based off of her damage dealt to special targets. I also want to mention that she can't actually defeat any brawler with three attacks without her gadget or her super. But in this test, it makes sense for her to deal 4,500 damage, which ties her for 45th place with our next brawler. Now, Colonel Ross is not allowed to use his super for this Olympics event to boost his damage, but he is still able to deal 4,500 damage with three attacks, which is enough to defeat Mr. P, Grom, Jesse, and Sprout, and he ties with Colette for 45th place. Byron deals 4,590 damage and gets 44th place, but just keep in mind that his attack is probably much better than 44th because it can also heal teammates on top of being able to deal damage. In fact, I think there's a solid argument to say that Byron could have the best attack in the game. Now, Bell would actually score higher if she had more than one target to bounce her attack off of, but even without the bounce shot or the ability to mark a target with her super, she still deals 4,680 damage, which puts her in 43rd place. Now, Jessie also has a very similar attack, and she would be able to deal even more damage against multiple targets because her attacks deal more damage than Bell's do. With three attacks, she deals 4,770 damage and gets 
in place. Now, Edgar can deal 4,860 damage with three attacks, which is enough to defeat Leon, Terra, Lou, Max, and Amber, and that's enough to put him in 41st place. I only let Gale hit the boss with four projectiles, since it is impossible to hit the same brawler with any more than just that. He can deal over 7,000 damage with three ammo if all of his projectiles hit, but in this test, he deals 5,040 damage and gets 40th place. Now, Jackie can deal 5,220 damage, which is enough to also take out Griff, Colette, and Penny, and she actually ties with our next two brawlers for 37th place. Now, unlike Jackie, Stu needs two projectiles to hit in order for him to deal max damage, but if all of his shots hit, he's able to deal 5,220 damage, meaning that he ties for 37th as well. And the third tie is Gene, who deals burst damage with just one projectile, but he does have to be within a pretty small range in order to do that. He also deals 5,220 damage and ties with Jackie and Stu for 37th place. Next, we have Surge, who can actually deal over 5,000 damage with just one shot, but only if he's level four and only if he has his two of the max star power equipped. And also if the target is right next to a wall and also, also only if you aim it just perfectly. The chances of this happening are just so low that I ranked him by his regular attack damage, which deals 5,310 damage with three ammo and is good enough for Surge to get 36th place. Squeak is able to deal a little extra damage thanks to his chain reaction star power, and he could even deal more damage if more targets were within range. But since he can only attack one target in this video, he deals 5,346 damage and gets 35th place. Max deals 5,400 damage with three ammo, which is enough to also take out Ems, Bo, Gene, Gale, and Squeak on top of all the other brawlers I've already mentioned in this video. I know it's a little odd to only allow Max to use three ammo when she can actually have four. She always has four, right? But that's the rule of this test. If she could unload a fourth ammo, she could deal 7,200 damage. But for this video, she gets 34th place. Now, since all the brawlers shoot their shots one right after another, I felt like B couldn't start this with a supercharged attack. So she has two regular shots and one supercharged shot, which deals 5,700 damage, which is enough to defeat Lola, Shelly, Sandy, and Mortis on top of the previous brawlers and land in 33rd place. Now, even though BB's home run bar doesn't add any extra damage to her attack, her swings are still very strong and she can deal 5,850 damage with three ammo, which ties her for 31st place with our next brawler. Next, we have Grom, who gets a bit of an advantage with his X Factor star power because it gives his attacks extra damage at max range. With three attacks, Grom can deal 5,850 damage and ties with BB for 31st place. Next, we have Carl, and his attacks almost deal 1,000 damage on the way to and on the way back whenever he attacks. He deals 5,940 damage with three throws, and that ties him with our next brawler for 29th place. And that brawler is Lou, whose attacks shoot three projectiles, and honestly, it can be kind of tough to hit them all, but if all three projectiles hit, three attacks from Lou deal 5,940 damage, which ties him with Carl for 29th. Next is Terra, who deals 6,210 damage with all of her projectiles, and that's enough damage to defeat Nita and Poco on top of the previously mentioned brawlers. That also ties her with our next brawler for 27th place. Now, Rosa can deal over 8,000 damage with her Thorny Gloves star power, but without her super, she only deals 6,210 damage, and that ties her with Terra for 27th place. We are now halfway through all of the brawlers. From here on out, every brawler is able to take out three-fourths or more of all the brawlers in the game with three ammo. So chances are, three ammo is going to take you out when you're facing the following brawlers. Our newest brawler, Fang, can deal 6,300 damage at close range, which is enough damage to take out Buzz and BB and get 26 place. Now, Mr. P's attacks deal over 1,000 damage to whatever it slides into and also deal damage to whatever it lands on. Three attacks from Mr. P can deal 6,480 damage, so he ties for 24th place with our next brawler. And that's El Primo, who has four projectiles that all need to hit for him to deal max damage, but he has a really fast reload speed, so he definitely beats Mr. P in a damage race. In this test, though, he ties for 25th place and can deal 6,480 total damage. Now, if all of Shelly's projectiles hit, she deals 6,750 damage, which is enough to defeat Fang and Carl and land herself in 23rd place. Crow can deal quite a bit of extra damage with the help of his carry and crow star power, including all of the poison damage, which is pretty generous. Crow deals 7,128 damage, so he gets 22nd place. Now, Dynamite can deal 7,200 damage if all six of his dynamites hit, and that's enough to defeat Pam, 8-Bit, and Ash. And this is where I start to call brawlers tanky, right? Dynamite ties with our next brawler for 20th place. And that brawler is Ash, who deals double
double his regular damage if his rage bar is past level two. Three swings from a fully raged Ash, which you do not want to encounter, deals 7,200 damage and ties him with Dynamite for 20th place. Now, Barley gets to deal a little extra damage thanks to his extra noxious star power. In total, he deals 7,500 damage, which is enough to defeat Bull and Jackie and get 19th place. Next, we have Spike, who can deal over 17,000 damage to a big target if all of the projectiles from all three ammo actually hit it. But for regular targets like enemy brawlers, the most damage he can deal is 7,560 damage with three ammo, which is still impressive, but it's only enough for 18th place. Next, we have Lola, who does not get any help from her ego because it is her super. She does get a little extra damage from her improvised star power, though. She gets two regular shots and one shot with boosted damage and deals 7,762 damage, which puts her in 17th place. Next is Bo, who deals 8,100 damage with nine explosive arrows, which is enough damage to defeat Daryl and Rosa and get 16th place. Next is Brock, who deals over 1,000 extra damage to stationary targets thanks to his incendiary star power. He deals 8,340 total damage with three attacks, which puts him in 15th place. Now, Frank actually would have had the strongest attack in the game if he was allowed to use his irresistible attraction gadget three times. But even without his gadget, he still has his power grab star power, which adds a lot of extra damage. Frank deals 8,370 damage and gets 14th place. Now, on top of that, 8-Bit would also benefit a lot from his gadget and his super in this test. But even without the extra damage from his other abilities, he can still do 8,640 damage with three ammo, which ties him with the next two brawlers for 11th place. Now, Tick's mind spread out the further they're thrown, so he has to be kind of close in order for him to land all his projectiles on the same brawler. But if Tick can land nine mines, he deals 8,640 damage and ties for 11th as well. Now, Leon has to be very close to get max damage from his attack, but his attack can also be useful at long range. He's able to deal 8,640 damage with three attacks as well and ties with 8-bit and Tick for 11th place. Next is Ems, whose attacks get stronger and stronger the more times it hits a target, thanks to her bad karma star power. At just the right distance, she can deal 8,775 damage, which puts her in 10th place. Now, at max range, Piper's attack is already very strong, but when you add her ambush star power on top of that, it's no wonder why she's in the top 10. With just three projectiles, Piper deals 8,784 damage and gets 9th place. Griff is able to fire 9 projectiles with each attack, but they only hit the same target if he's very close to them, since his attack has a pretty wide range. Griff deals 8,910 damage and gets 18th place. Now, as long as Bull is close enough for all of his projectiles to hit, he deals 9,000 damage with 3 ammo. Not only is that good enough for 7th place, it's also good enough for him to take out El Primo with 3 shots. Rico has 5 projectiles that all get a damage boost thanks to his super bouncy star power. He deals 9,060 damage with 3 ammo, which puts him in 6th place. And with that, we are down to the 5 best brawlers when it comes to attack damage. All of them can take out every single brawler in the game, with the exception of Frank. Let's find out if any of them actually can take Frank out with 3 ammo, and if they can do it when he has his fun star power equipped. Now, Nani's attacks take a lot of accuracy in order for you to hit all 3 projectiles on the same target, but if you can do that, her attack is insane, and she can deal 9,450 damage, which ties her with the next brawler for 4th place. And that brawler is Buzz, who has 5 powerful projectiles, and honestly, I don't understand why a whistle can deal so much damage. Buzz is able to deal 9,450 damage as well, so he ties with Nani for fourth place, but neither of them can three shot Frank. Next is Colt, who is kind of hard to hit with all of your projectiles, but if he does, he shreds through pretty much any brawler. He's able to deal 9,720 damage and get third place, but he still can't three shot Frank. Now, Pam, up close and personal, can deal 10,530 damage with three ammo, which makes her one of the two brawlers in the game that can actually three shot every single brawler, including Frank, without any damage boosts. Unless, of course, his spun star power increases his HP, then sh she can't do it. Being our first brawler to deal over 10,000 damage, Pam gets second place. And at least our number one brawler with the best attack in the game, Daryl. He's able to dish out 10,800 damage with no help from any abilities, which goes to show that he has the strongest attack.
attack in the game, and of course, places first. Now, obviously, there are a lot of different ways that I could have showcased some brawlers, but more and more brawlers are coming to the game, and it gets more and more complicated, and then they added Gears into the game, so I decided to not use Gears in the Olympics. I really try my best in these videos to make them somewhat fair and also somewhat realistic, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. But maybe there's a brawler out there that you think has a better attack than Daryl does. After all, he kind of has a short range, and I already mentioned Byron. I mean, he... He, he could have the strongest attack in the game. Let me know which brawler you think has the best attack in the comment section below. And make sure you guys like this video if you did like it. And subscribe here for some more Brawl Stars videos. You can subscribe here for some more Clash Mini videos. And subscribe here for some content on my newest channel for Free Fire. Thank you guys for using Code Kairos in Brawl Stars Shop. And for now, this is Kairos Time Ticking. Bye. And I think I've perfected this outro now. For now, this is Kairos Time Ticking. I already said that. We'll see you in Brawl Stars. <laughs>